This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Michael says, I know Chubb has been pretty quiet, but do you think the explosion of Phillips in the past few weeks has anything to do with the addition of Chubb? Michael, here's what I would tell you and everybody else that keeps asking or or commenting like they know something about Chubb. Please watch the film. He's not being double teamed all the time. His chip blocking once in a while, and it's the kind of chip blocking that if you're a stud, you can make those idiots cones. You you know, like Boza did to two dolphins on his way to Tua. You remember that? When you're a badass, just watch the film. He's not being, you know, because I saw some guy on Twitter. Oh, yeah, oh, really? No, that guy's being double teamed all the time and opening up. No, you just don't watch. You assume that. You think because Chubb came in with the name, you traded the pick, you gave him the money, all that stuff, and you think he's attracting double teams, but you're actually not really watching the game. You actually didn't actually go back and watch the line play. It would depress you. Chubb is just there, dude. He's not doing anything. And he's not opening up a goddamn thing for Phillips or Wilkins. Wilkins has gotten better and better and better and better every single year without the help of anybody. He makes others better. Jalen Phillips had eight and a half sacks as a rookie. Okay? He's playing well. Sealer has always played well. Bradley Chubb has had zero influence on Sealer, on Wilkins, and Phillips. That's an insult to Jalen, to Christian, and to Zach. That's an absolute insult to their work ethic, their motor, their desire, their fire, and the way that they play every single down. Any of you out there that, that dare to credit Bradley Chubb you're insulting the three guys that have been working on building their careers and they work tirelessly. Christian Wilkins doesn't need Bradley Chubb's help to be special. Christian Wilkins was kicking ass when Ogba was doing nothing and he's kicking ass while Chubb is doing nothing. Nothing has changed. Kind of changes, right? It, it kind of enlightens you there, right? Oh, shit, that's right. Ogba was doing nothing, and Christian Wilkins was kicking ass. Ogba's out in Chubb, and, yeah, I can't assume that Chubb's doing anything. Let me go watch the film. Oh, O's right. Chubb's doing nothing. Go watch it. Wilkins doesn't need Chubb to be a stud. Back up the Brinks truck and pay the man his money. Yeah, Chubb hasn't. Uh, Chubb is below average, Willie. Not even average. Below average. There are no game changing plays. Nothing, bro. No sacks. No big tackles for losses. No big stops on runs. He's doing. He's below average for the draft pick and the money you're paying him. He is an absolute waste right now. Okay, now. We can't give up on Bradley Chubb. This is maybe, I don't know, maybe he's got to figure it out or whatever. It's too early to give up on the man, but I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up his ass. Or like I told you, this is not your show. I'm not sitting here to tell you, make excuses for Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb has no excuses. He has Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips, and Sealer that are playing their asses off. Offenses have to worry about those guys, not him. He needs to make sure that they're worried about him because they they it's one-on-one -on -one mostly with him. 